Masechet about Perakei Mishnah Zayin, seventh Mishnah in the fifth chapter of Perakei Avo. We're going to talk about a golem. So a golem in this Mishnah is not the golem that we think about, you know, like the golem of Prague, the like Frankenstein guy. But rather, a golem is Lashon Galmei Kilim. Galmei Kilim, or like in modern Hebrew, it's Chomei uh, Gelem, are the ingredients that you need um, in order to make a recipe. So Shalom Nigmar Amalachtan, these are the pieces of a, a utensil. You make furniture, it's like the pieces of wood. So the, a golem is an incomplete person. Kach Adam She'enog Nigmar Bidato, a person who is not complete in his dat, in his, not, in his knowledge or in wisdom. Lobe Midot, nor his attributes of Lobe Chachma, nor in his wisdom. Kari Golem, a person who's not refined, not intelligent, that's a golem. So there are seven attributes of a golem and seven about a chacham. So we're going to describe a golem, and then uh, we'll understand the opposite, of course, is a chacham. Or the other way around. I'm sorry, we'll describe a chacham, and the opposite is a golem. Chacham enomadaber bifnei mishu gadol mimena b'chokhma u'beminyan. A chacham doesn't speak in front of, or, you know, in this place of someone who's gadol mimena b'chokhma, wisdom, or b'minyan. Minyan means, you know, he's on a beitin that's, that's larger than he is. I mean, he's, he's the, they're in the chief court, and you're in the smaller court. You don't speak before that person. That's number one. He doesn't interrupt his friend. That's a, that's a tough one, especially in today's society. If you ever listen to the radio in Israel, it's like the worst. They don't let you get a word in Ezra, Edwise. So, so somehow that, that can sort of creep into our behavior too, to interrupt other people. A person who's a chacham is not nivhal, um, um, discombobulated to answer. Rather, he can answer, uh, he knows that he answered the appropriate answer you know, in a, in, a, in, a, in a quick and dignified manner. Sho'el ke'inyan, u'meshiv ke'halacha. Sho'el ke'inyan, he asks ke'inyan on the, on the issue. And he asks relevant questions, and the Bartonurah says, sho'el ke'inyan, okay, the devar ha'odunim na'kan, it's one thing. Vachi perusho, ha'tamid sho'el ke'inyan, he asks ke'inyan, kolomer ba'oto v'inyan she'em asukim, but he asks on the relevant matter. Ba'az ha'rav meshiv ke'halacha, and then the rav, can answer kehalacha, meaning if you you ask on the relevant on the studying the, the the discussion at hand, then meshiv kehalacha gets to answer kehalacha. Because if you start asking all these other questions, it uh, you know a non-intelligent person goes off on tangents and red red herrings. He has a series of discussions or a series of issues. He answers the first thing first and the last thing last. He he answers in order. And if he does he doesn't know. Omer lo says I don't know. I never heard this. And he admits the truth. So I, I actually want to focus on this, Masha Lo Shema. Many people are afraid to say, I don't know. I remember when I was uh, younger, I had a doctor who was just starting, and he would examine me, and then he would leave, and like, and I realized he was going to like look things up. And I always liked that. I respected it. Because it's okay to say, I don't know. It's okay for a rabbi to say, I don't know, I have to ask, or I have to look it up, I'll get back to you. Okay, that's a sign of wisdom, not a sign of weakness. Finally, Modela, I meant if you're proven wrong, or you know, it is correct, you admit the truth. And that's something that a chacham can do. V'chilufuhem a golam, and a golem says all the opposite things. He speaks before other people that are better than him. He interrupts people. He is discombobulated, can't answer. He asks uh, red herrings. He, gets, he goes off on tangents. He answers out of order. He, he, he can't say, I don't know. And he's never willing to admit the truth. That's a golem. That's a nice term. We have to get back to that term. It's an appropriate way of saying someone who's not refined, not intelligent. We'll stop for dedicating our learning to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak. Have a great day.